Hello there and welcome to the living room. Today, I need your help to replace the light bulb in this floor lamp. Don't know how? No worries, I can teach you step by step. Before we get started, let's make sure it is safe to work. Please turn off that light switch. This will make Now sure we need to remove the old light bulb from the lamp. But where's the bulb? On this lamp, it's inside the lamp shade. To make it easier for ourselves, please take off the lamp There's shade. that light bulb. Looks like it has burnt out. Sometimes, that happens. Let's get rid Since of it. Since we don't need this one anymore, let's throw it away. Please carefully place the bulb into the trash can. Good! Time to put in a fresh one. On the coffee table, you should find a new light bulb. Please pick that up and screw it. We're almost done. All there's left is to put the lampshade back on. The lampshade helps keep the bulb from being too bright. Please pick up the shade and place it onto the lamp. Now, let's give that lamp a quick test to make sure everything works. Please turn on the light switch. Excellent! You successfully replaced the light bulb, and now we've got some light back into this room. Thank you for all your help. Feel free to come back anytime. Hello there! We made it to the grocery store, but we still need to get through the parking lot. Even though we're not in the street, we still need to watch out for cars. But no worries, I can teach you how to safely get to the store, step by step. We first need to get to the end of this lane and closer to the store. In parking lot lanes like this one, we need to pay attention to cars coming up and down the lane, as well as cars going in and out of parking slots. When walking down the lane, Please make sure to stay on one side of the lane so there's enough Whenever we are near a road, we must always stay aware of cars. While the crosswalk and signs inform drivers, Finally, it looks like the path is clear enough for us to cross. Even while we cross, watch out for cars in case they come while you're in the road. Whenever you're ready, please walk across the road. Be sure to stay in the crosswalk. Excellent! You successfully and safely reached the grocery store. Now, we can go shopping. Feel free to come back anytime. Hello there, and welcome to the bedroom. It looks pretty messy in here. I could use your help cleaning up. Don't know how? No worries. I can teach you step by step. Let's start with the trash. Old trash can be a home for germs and bacteria 
to grow that can make you sick. Please pick up the soda can and paper, then put them into the trash can. Trash, check. Next, let's wipe down that desk. Household dust is usually made Great, up. this room is cleaner already. Now, onto the bed. It looks pretty messy. Please put the pillows back at the head of the bed and straighten the blanket. Last step, all this laundry on the floor. We don't want to accidentally mix up clean and dirty clothes. Please pick up the clothes and place them into the laundry hamper inside the closet. Excellent, you successfully cleaned up the bedroom. Thank you for all your help. Feel free to come back anytime. Hello there and welcome to the kitchen. Today, I need your help putting away all these groceries. Don't know where things go? No worries, I can teach you step by step. Since we just got back from the grocery store, all our groceries are still in the bag. Let's take out each item one at a time by selecting the bag and place them onto the counter so we can see everything. Looks like everything's here. Now we can start putting them away. First, let's put away the freezer items. These items need to be kept very cold so they can be stored longer. In most homes, the refrigerator also includes a freezer. On our refrigerator here, the freezer is at the bottom. Let's look at the counter and see what belongs in the freezer. Please grab the item and put it into the freezer. Next, let's put away the refrigerator items. These items need to be kept cold, but not frozen, so they can stay fresh longer. Let's take a look at the counter and see what belongs in the refrigerator. Please grab the items and put them into the refrigerator. Now that we have taken care of the freezer and refrigerator, we have our dry goods. How about the cupboards next? In most homes, cupboards are used to store ingredients or supplies that do not need to stay cold. Thanks to the size of the cupboards, they can store taller items. If you take a look around the kitchen, you'll see that there are a lot of cupboards. Plenty of room for storage. Hmm, how about this one? Let's use this cupboard. Take a look at the counter again and see what you should put away. Please grab them and place them into the cupboard. The only things left now belong in the drawers. Drawers, like cupboards, can be used to store ingredients or supplies that do not need to stay cold. Unlike cupboards, drawers are much shorter, so they are good for smaller or flat items. Please put away the last items into the drawer. 
we can use the one right above the previous cover. Excellent, you successfully put away all the groceries. Thank you for all your help. Feel free to come back anytime. Hello there and welcome to the kitchen. Today, I need your help to bake a pizza using the oven. Don't know what to do? No worries, I can teach you step by step. First, let's wash our hands. Before we handle food, we should always wash our hands to remove any germs that could get us sick. Please head to the sink and turn on the faucet to start washing your hands. Nice and clean. Now, let's make some food. Frozen foods, like this pizza, have instructions for how to correctly prepare them. Let's take a look at what this box says. Pick up the box, looks, looks simple enough, ready to get started? Put down the box and I'll guide you through the rest of the steps. Alrighty, the first step is to place the pizza onto the baking sheet. Unlike regular plates or containers, bakeware, like this sheet, can handle high temperatures of an oven. Please pick up the pizza and place it onto the sheet. Great! Now that we have the pizza ready, we need to preheat the oven. Cooking at the now that we're at the panel, how do we use it? Luckily, for this pizza, we'll just need to use a fuel button. To preheat the oven, press the bake button. Then, keep pressing the up button to increase the temperature until it says 400 degrees. Once the panel shows 400, good work. Now the oven is hot and ready. But before we put in the pizza, we should be safe. To keep the oven or sheet from burning your hand, you can use the oven. Finally, it's time to heat things up. Please open the oven, put the pizza in, and close the door. Depending on the toppings, different frozen pizzas may need to be heated for different durations. Companies that make frozen pizzas often write the instructions to work with as many ovens as possible. The instructions for this pizza recommend that we heat the pizza from 18 to 25 minutes. Oh no, looks like the duration is a bit too long. Press the down button to decrease the time to 18 minutes. Once the panel shows 18, press the start button to start cooking. Yes, it's pizza time. Please open the oven and take out the pizza. Then you can place it on the stove top to cool down. 
careful not to burn yourself. Oh, and be sure to close the door after you're done. We wouldn't want to accidentally run into the door and hurt ourselves. Be sure to close that door. Last but not least, let's turn off that oven. It is very important to keep the oven off whenever we are not using it. This prevents Excellent! Accident. You successfully made pizza. Thank you for all your help. Feel free to come back anytime.